Welcome friends, um, I am Arul J. Chandran, I am a faculty at a department of civil engineering IIT Madras. I uh, will be talking about um, how the steel construction is going to dot our skylines possibly in the next decade and the lecture will be titled as steel construction a promise for the future. In fact, if you see the growth of steel conception in India, uh, it is you cannot say it as an amazing journey, but we all started a concerted effort in the year 1999 and a decade later the usage of steel was as, as doubled. The reason is um, there is a metric in economy which says this the growth of a country is directly related to the consumption of steel. This means the infrastructure is growing, the housing infrastructure is growing. Uh, so, possibly more steel is being consumed. So, the government of India wants another about 20 million uh, tons of steel to be used uh, in other but few years. So, this is that uh, the usage of steel in construction not on the tra traditional avenues as definitely has a bearing on in the Indian economy. Now, um, these are the areas of potential large growth of steel construction in India particularly. I am not talking about the traditional um, avenues like industrial structures, you know you, you have um, trusses, uh, very many small amount of steel construction, but it is amazingly new type of structures. The one is the housing, the second is the medium to large span bridges because the requirement of these bridges is not by the strength or the load but it is going to be entirely uh, a community dictated uh, design parameters. I will tell you what are they as the lecture goes on. Uh, secondly, uh, we talk about you know all these uh, FDI, the foreign um, direct investment in India which is going to create quite a number of marketplaces which are for the short duration. So, possibly steel is a very good option and the number is going to increase uh, quite amazingly. And the last point is today we are talking about sustainability and every citizen is very sensitized about environmental awareness. Uh, so, steel is good for a society which is environmentally sensitized. Right. Now, I, I did not say that impediments, but I say perceived impediments to the growth of steel construction in India. Uh, possibly we can work, overcome that very easily. Uh, the first one is uh, steel uh, construction involves very many players. We say uh, the steel chain, uh, we have a producer, we have a uh, fabricator, we have a contractor who have a designer. The chain is very long and there has to be some institution which play, which unites all these uh, stakeholders in this business. Unfortunately, uh, we do have organization set up by government of India, it is doing its best, but all the private uh, players should come together to make it more um, uh, meaningful today it is only piecemeal and fractured. Now, the culture of alliance like every company wants to you know make their product, but uh, none of them come together like uh, they make an alliance and so that the steel can go into complementing areas of construction which is unfortunately missing in Indian context. Okay, this is not only for steel construction, but also for technological issues if the, the, the player the stakeholders or the players come together all these issues which are uh, you know against the steel construction can be dealt in a much better way. And finally, we have to admit that the weakest link for the steel construction in India uh, is in the fabrication, uh, because uh, we do not have uh, a medium grade um, fabricators, either we have the top notch fabricators or we have the roadside fabricators. Possibly this is one of the uh, point, I mean the avenues that India has to grow, right. Now, it, the uh, impediments is not a uh, problem for us because we have success stories. We started um, starting constructing uh, the pre-engineered buildings called the PEBs in the year 1999 and today it grows around 20 to 25 percent. And it is it is almost nudged out the traditional structural steel work. You find every industrial structure is going to be the pre-engineered building. But um, when the PEB was introduced, the market or the, the contractors were not very receptive. Uh, they had quite a lot of questions and today uh, PEB is unstoppable. 
So possibly because it offers a total solution um, and this has been uh, conceived as a big advantage by the contractors. So I am sure in future the steel construction is going to uh, grow in a big way in a country like India. Um, well, I will now give what are the avenues of large uses of steel construction. This is precisely what I said earlier. This is not about the steel which is going to go into a traditional uh, uh, avenues which have already been used. This is completely uh, new avenues. The first one is I take about the residential construction. Uh, during the end of my lecture, I will show a live example of uh, residential construction that is currently happening in uh, Chhattisgarh. And this one is I was fortunate to go and document uh, a residential flat about um, 180 flats. Why all these quick time constructions or we say rapid constructions coming up because in India also we have started feeling that the time is money. Uh, we all know that the western world uh, runs on the principle time and money um, are one and the same. right? I would like to give an example. This is a 180 uh, flat multi-story building uh, that has come up in uh, uh, 10th street of Atlanta near very near to Georgia Tech. And the the re, the uh, the specification for the construction is not the strength nor the material, but the time. They said within nine months, the entire construction is to be completed, and has to house around 180 students. So the time was the major parameter for this, right? Now uh, all these flats are steel uh, concrete composites. You can you can see this. Uh, much of uh, the uh, steel is appended to the existing facade. You can see here uh, we have a, a sunshade which is appended to the brick facade. You can see this all these uh, sunshades or all any other appendages can be fabricated outside, can be quickly fixed onto that. So, you can see this uh, this is not a brick facade, but just it is a, a CP board and then externally they we have pasted small amount of bricks giving us a beautiful view of a traditional uh, brick building. Um, what I said again uh, steel staircase are used you can see uh, there is a layer hmm, which is called a resilient layer for so that the, the noise of the steel staircase does not come into account. But uh, many of these structures can be fabricated and they can be shifted to the site and the construction made can be made very quickly. Uh, right. So, this is the e external view of the 10th and home uh, as I told you is about 180 um, uh, flats are there, but does not look like a uh, you know steel concrete composite building or even coal form steel building. It uh, presents a beautiful view which merge with the existing other structures. It is not like you know transplanting something else, but you can see this. So, the residential construction um, uh, steel is uh, be used, uh, the, this growth is going to be much higher in India in future. right? Now, uh, this is not the residential sector alone, all. the commercial um, buildings as we all know like its time is the major criteria for the commercial buildings. So, I was fortunate to document uh, one of the commercial building which is called the Turner Broadcasting in Atlanta. Again, the, the specification for this is 6 months because this is purely a, a competition between um, two different players and then uh, say a particular company comes and tells the contractor by this time I want my um, structure to be ready and be operational so that I gain into the market. So, this was um, a very good case uh, for me to present. Uh, you can see here this I am just taken the photograph in the third floor that means the next day was the uh, the concreting right so you can see in the third floor you can see the uh, the the steel ma main beams you got the second race on which we are putting a steel deck sheet which has got uh, corrugations to give us moment of inertia so i we love to put a small uh, my i mean amount of reinforcement and then concrete them on the top now that gives an advantage that you can see here the second floor is ready for work in fact, uh, when I was there, the, the second floor was occupied by the service crew. They start putting the pipes, they can start putting the, um, uh, the vents. Uh, in the first floor, as I uh, see the next slide, the services are nearly completed. So, what we can see is the, 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 the construction sequence uh, not necessarily wait for the entire frames to be ready or the walls to be ready. In fact, 
by floor and floor when the the last floor is finished i think uh, the the ground floor can be made ready for occupancy right you can see here one of the disadvantages i said the fabrication the 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 um, great advantage of steel construction is much of this material i mean the components are fabricated elsewhere so it doesn't block the site it is brought and then they are bolted at site very quickly by using uh, pneumatic tools uh, but probably india has to grow in this uh, particular area you can see here the man is walking he is a, a, a service crew member that means while the concrete is going to be there the civil crew there at the third floor and the second floor as uh, occupied by this uh, the service crew right now this is the uh, photo of the first floor you can see here these are all called wall studs right these wall studs are going to receive your uh, cement particle boards or gypsum gypsum boards so they almost are ready you can see here the inside of all the wall studs are ready and then um, the uh, occupancy um, all the services can be started um now the, this is also a lightweight roof uh, which is which is the same building which is built in about uh, two half two and a half days okay once the spans are ready all the components are fabricated then fitted and bolted in the site uh, so the the entire construction was uh, finished about five and a half months good so i would like to go another um, uh, avenue if a steel is called the public structures um, many of us think that the public structures are being uh, not used but they are being abused so steel is not a preferred material uh, for public structures quite um, i found many of the public structures in the western world or even some part of delhi amazingly performing uh, so this i'll just give you a few examples of how uh, the steel has been used in public structures this is the hartsfield airport you can see here all these rc beams and on the top of the rc beam they have synthesized a steel uh, space roof okay this is the steel uh, steel uh, space frame or uh, or a space roof which is actually uh, architecturally synthesized uh, you can see on top of it uh, a steel sheeting and amazingly it has been integrated or synthesized with existing uh, concrete structure so we can see steel can you know uh, be a complementary material in very many situations especially for beauty uh, for aesthetics and also the time of construction um so this uh, space structures which i'll cover a little later and you can see here today we talk about sustainability this was a um, uh, actually a, a underground station uh, midtown atlanta so there are simple truss structures have been uh, put with uh, you know the light the natural light is to come in almost the entire day time you don't need any light you can see here the lights have been switched off and you're getting quite an um, uh, with an ample amount of light inside the station so what i'm saying uh, this steel can merge with uh, say material like glass or any other material which is going to give you an advantage in uh, service also uh so this is one of the public structure in which glass and uh, a yeah, orthogonal truss system is used uh, uh, for in a public place right oh this is beauty actually you can see here this all um the the columns used here are steel uh, concrete infilled columns you can see here the the, the service um the the some of the the water drain uh, we call as um, the drain into the pipe has been taken in this is a public structure and very nicely integrated with the lighting you can see the buses and you can see here this is the another view of the public station you can see lot amount of floor space is available for them because uh, the inter column space is quite large and the size of the column since we are putting a steel outer shell and we are infilling with uh, you know high set concrete the con the column can be quite slender and then we for the same uh, uh, area we get more usable floor area so this is um, the circular columns of not only for visual appeal but also for give us um, a, a good sense of uh, beauty on that so it's not a, a real uh, concern that steel can't be used in uh, public structures now the next is uh, for actual architectural splendor um, right this is the walmart lithonia you can see here there's a large column free space in fact if you see the next slide you see uh, almost it's like a unsupported uh, free space because you can these columns are very very slender 
um, they do not even uh, come into your eye line at all. So, you can see here the marketplaces are going into that is the point I was making. Today, India we are moving towards merging and globalization is taking place in a big way. Uh, quite a number of marketplaces go not only for uh, the the consumer is goods, but even for you know storage of, of production materials. All right. So in that type of news, actually steel can give you a very good advantage, right? So this is also a beautiful architecture. You can see yes, light and trusses have been merged. It gives a fantastic view. You got a very large space um, in which you never knew like such a structure. I mean, uh, steel structure has been put in. So it merges. The you can see the sheeting or the top. It's steel. Mm, and uh, all these sort uh, simple trusses, you can see the fly braces. So very single, uh, I mean small elements are put together into uh, a quite rigid system, which offers us um, a very good advantage for steel uh, for architectural beauty, right? So this is an Walmart uh, Lithania store, right? Also, in the case of uh, the fern bank, so we are going to have. Uh, some very monumental structures maybe in the future. Now we see um, monuments are being built for uh, I mean uh, very popular political leaders or for uh, um, uh, remembering a particular event. So in all of them steel pro provides uh, a very good this is the, um, the atrium of the Fern Bank Museum of Natural History um, again in uh, Georgia. So you can see here glass and the traditional um, steel truss work have been combined to give a beautiful view. Uh, not only that, you can see here steel has been appended to the existing masonry structure as well. So this this particular material is not a standalone for use, but it is going to merge with uh, masonry uh, and quite nicely uh, with concrete. And the usage of uh, the steel. Say, for example, there is a large party hall, so you have a column free space taken only by one particular central octagonal column. So this column supports a big truss work, and the truss work on top of it we put glass. So even at the evening, uh, sometimes they got uh, moonlight dinner here, no lighting at all. It's just purely by the moonlight. Uh, thing I mean the dinner is being conducted. So the point which I am making is steel can be appended or complement any architectural space that you are doing. So you can merge with the masonry, you can merge with concrete. At the same time this can also be used to take uh, care of load. You can see here the, the truss reaction is transferred to the masonry wall by an appendage. So this kind of integration uh, provides steel very good for um, an architectural um, purpose like um, this is initially when I went and saw the CNN center I thought it was a staircase or um, it is just uh, as just for landscaping. They have introduced uh, a large space the architects introduced this just to break the monotony to give a feeling of that this is just a actually an entity that is only provided for internal scaping. So it was another innovative use of steel that I have seen uh, even architects use um, the I mean a fair use of steel in the, uh, in the construction both for ar architectural splendor also. Um, now I move on to uh, some of the real world space structures because as I told you the marketplaces are going to come up in a big way. So we, we are going to have quite a lot of uh, space structures and of course everybody knows the, the most popular nest and the Beijing Malibu which created uh, oh, the, what uh, many things can be done with steel not necessarily in a, uh, in a um, very prismatic and nice way, but in for uh, we can do shapes which can represent nature also like the nest. Uh, the next one is this double layered space construction is quite popular. Uh, you might have seen this as many petroleum uh, outlets, mm, but in, uh, in near the Cyberabad or the Hyderabad area, you can see large amount of these space structures. What is the advantage? All these components are very slender and you can cover a large uh, unsupported space. You can see here the column, the column is a very very slender column with a tripod over which you have got a, an arched the two layer truss is there. So these can be actually dismantled and you can, re, uh, you can use it elsewhere. So the one of the major advantages for this is in the future there is going to be lots of marketing space, steel can be an ideal material for quick erection and um, say um, 
uh, has to be shifted somewhere it can be very easily uh, shifted. So, the double layer grid it is a very good system to span uh, temporary, but of course, large uh, spaces. Now, this is one of the pyramid structures you can see here uh, the space structures have been used uh, for architectural beauty also. Um, see one particular reason for all these uh, space structures is you do not need a big um, uh, skill labor to construct it. Once you have got all the mark number of all these uh, space structures which will tell you like okay, the member is going to the north or the south or the east and then every number member is numbered okay, the every uh, node will be numbered. So, the connection between numbers is just by simple uh, people. So, we can get untrained labor also to construct all these uh, space frame structures. So, the next <coughs> part is bridges uh, quite unfortunately bridge was the primary construction material uh, for the bridge structures in the British times and even uh, during our independent periods also, but unfortunately uh, the high uh, the high deep sections were not available uh, and the fabrication was not supporting the growth of um, the steel bridges. So, possibly there was a drift between um, steel to priestess concrete and uh, other structures. Now, uh, this is what uh, the point which I made. Now, the bridge structures let us say in urban like in metropolitan cities or tier 2 cities, it is going to come not by the strength and the traffic, but by the constraints the space is going to offer. So, this is one of the curved uh, uh, box bridge. Imagine in Chennai or in Mumbai, we are going to have a bridge. You cannot have, you cannot locate the bridge piers as freely as we think. And uh, it is it's going to be determined on the space available or the kind of structures available. So, very many constraints are going to come. So, if you want to build um, a quickly, uh, a, a bridge, a curved bridge or a box girder bridge, um, steel is wonderful option uh, for that. I can show you, um, these are um, the composite decks, right? you, you might have seen this today, uh, the NHI, NHII pro proposes many of these steel concrete composite bridges uh, to span over the railway bridges. What is the reason? Because I can easily launch, there is no blockage of traffic either train or road. So, the columns are erected, over the columns we go and insert our beams and you can see here the, the these beams will have what is called shear connectors and these are all braces. As you know like every traffic goes there is a, a lateral moment is come, also we would like to introduce these braces for the best performance uh, of these bridges. So, this is quite popular now in India. Most of the bridges which spans between roads or the rails, uh, I mean railway tracks are coming by this uh, composite tech, uh, technology. So, that is a big advantage for us, uh, because we can just put on the concrete deck very easily. The concrete is very good, we put reinforcements and it can be uh, cast without blocking anything at the bottom. So, these kind of um, uh, the space constrained bridges are becoming quite popular in India as well. Um, of course, uh, the suspension bridge um, with the cables you can see here, you have the cables, you have the suspenders and deck, this is a classic example. Um, we have a couple of bridges in Goa, uh, which are uh, cable suspended bridges, but only thing as the technology and the competence of the, car, the engineers or the contractors start uh, increasing by doing couple of bridges, I think more number of uh, bridges will be there. This is especially for crossing the waterways, we have a problem. Uh, of you know the space uh, is being covered, we have a navigational space, so all this can be covered. So, this is a good example of where steel can be used and again um, this is an example you can see here, we have a deck bridge which is I mean immediately converted into a through bridge. This is because of the navigational uh, depth which is required. So, many times the structures are built not for the strength or the amount of load that comes, it is not about you know how many broad gauge uh, trains are going to come, but it is the navigational because we are going to um, you know the abstract the navigational way possibly the fishermen or the fish species to migrate. So, all the structures are going to you know um, translocated into a very serene environment. So, most of the time the structural systems are determined uh, mostly by the environmental conditions. So, you can see here a clear example of um, a large uh, 
um, I mean navigational way height is required. So, a bridge from a deck to has been converted into a through bridge. So, such kind of uh, special usage can uh, be there and this is called a transportable Bailey bridge right. Many times uh, we use this the army used it um, in their operations. This kind of Bailey bridges are quite uh, popularly used in the uh, northeast of our country where uh, deep ravines and you know small spaces to be crossed you can use this modular bridge. These bridges are transported they are fitted inside and the deck is paved and you can cross with that. Mm, um, some of you may remember that when uh, the arch bridge uh, in the Jawaharlal Nehru stadium before the commonwealth case failed uh, within about a week the army people came and uh, put the Bailey bridge for the, uh, the pedestrians to go. Um, Another one is uh, the point which I say this is really amazing bridge that I have uh, read about. This is in 2012. This bridge was built in Japan and the reason is a beauty. You can see here this is um, a, you know a, a backwater and you can see an estuary over here. This is the land for lots of birds and uh, fish species also and the egret is one of that. It is like a uh, just like a crane. Now, the, the construction uh, constraint came because the, the vertical pylons were obstructing the navigational way of these birds, the egret birds. So, what happened? What uh, they did was the from the traditional bridge, they have just lowered the supports. You can see here, this was the normal cable state bridge that we use it. So, this support for this pan alone was taken down. You can see here this is the space in which the egrets fly. So, in this area the system was lowered so that the, the pylons do not approx the space of the egrets and this is the real bridge you can see the support at the bottom and it is not for the entire stretch, but only in the stretch for estuary. So, when these kind of environmental constraints are going to come quite often naturally in India also is going to come. I think steel is an amazing material where you can um, really customize the use. This was a bridge um, you can read it in the website of Japanese Institute of Steel Construction is a fabulous uh, structure how the entire the mechanics team the, the environmental is all of them sat together to provide an unobstructed uh, space uh, in the estuary. So, this is uh, they call the cable egret bridge in Japan. So, uh, my point is that the requirements of the structure I mean the structures are not necessarily going to be uh, with respect to the structural parameters, but sometimes mostly the social parameters the environmental parameters in which steel can play a big role. Okay. Now, uh, the next part which I uh, want to say is the steel concrete composite structures. Uh, in which we are getting the best of steel and concrete. I was amazed when I was uh, moving in Chennai um, towards the uh, east coast road. I found couple of steel concrete composite buildings have been completed not by engineers, but by non engineer I mean the, the it was a non engineered construction. When I approached them then it was done by a contractor who has just went abroad and saw a building and come back. So, he said this option is going to work. So, this is a steel concrete composite system. You can see here this is the steel beam over which we put the deck sheets. This is also a, a steel sheet say possibly of uh, 1 mm thickness 0 0.8 or 1.6 depending upon the span I want to cover. Then over, over the top of it I put a very nominal reinforcement just for um, you know shrinkage and temperature and we put what is called shear studs. Okay. These shear studs are the elements which are going to integrate the concrete deck and the steel part. What is the advantage is if once I have the steel beams ready I can just put the sheets on top of it on top of it we can drive the, uh, the shear connectors and we can just concrete it no support no uh, propping is needed and no formwork is needed. So, this was the one I was talking about uh, what happened in the uh, Georgia Tech um, um, commercial building right. Now, this is actual composite how it look like you can see here uh, the Young's model I mean the model is of uh, the steel and concrete are different. So, at the interface they will try to uh, slide across as also they would like to come out. So, we have provided the, uh, the deck in such a way the, the uplift or the, the sec separation between the steel and the concrete is done. So, this is the uh, this is how exactly how the system will look like right. We have also have concrete columns in which 
we can have a steel column and we, we have put a uh, concrete around for uh, say a fire protection or we can have a steel shell or tubular section on RHS as um, SHS and then we can infill concrete into it or both this is the best system in which um, the performance we have uh, said that if you can use either of these two we get a quite a good advantage in terms of strength right. Now this is the system actual system that is look like you can see here these are columns these are the primary beams these are the secondary beam directions we have just put the sheeting and then we have put the stud you can see here this is the nominal reinforcement that we going use it we can come and see here how the decks are placed right see this this is the primary beam between the columns we have the secondaries just over the secondary beams we can put the sheeting this sheeting can be made to any length because the rolling is done on the side we got a coil of large length so we can uh, load it quite nicely onto the secondary beams and after this the studs are uh, driven and the, the, the studs or you can see here the studs are seven on the secondary beam after, the, after that it is ready for concreting. One of the advantages of this is the nesting right all the deck sheeting material can be easily nested. So it, it provides me a lesser um, computational I mean transportation cost as well as also a storing space is very less. So it is not only in the strength alone but all in the construction practices uh, these steel concrete composite structures are going to give us a good advantage. Um, this is uh, already we have seen how the, uh, the deck sheet is uh, placed you can see us very very long deck sheet as a single piece right. You have the primaries between the columns you have the secondaries between two primary beams on which you have put the deck sheeting. How how we, how are, how are these um, long sheets are transported? You don't need to transport. You can just go. You can have a rolling mill at the side, and it will roll it for any length you want. So that's the advantage of these deck sheets. No need for um, you know um, make the sheets and have to be transported. The coal form steel circuit is one of the avenue like in which IIT Madras has also a, a long tradition um, of research and. Um, design. So one of this uh, project which I was personally involved like to explain and what we see here is called a rolling machine. Now the rolling machine is the one which makes all these structural sections. You can see uh, here the, the steel comes uh, as just like you know paper rolls uh, that we see in toilets uh, this kind all the these um, steel rolls can be cut into desired width uh, for us to make the sections. So once they are cut they are fed into the rolling machine like that so structural sections are, um, uh, 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 are come out. You can see here now here a, a, a section a, ch a channel is produced um, from this. The length of these sections it depends on the length of the coil or the roll. Now this can be made into structural members and also the structural framing. Now once they are made in the shop they are um, transported. Uh, like this. So from factory to second see we have got 12 meter log uh, trucks and we can load all these materials onto the truck uh, to the site and there we have a very light foundation uh, you can see here the foundation is just a simple um, uh, spread is not very deep no piling uh, this foundation was for a G plus 3 right. So it was a very simple foundation on which we are going to erect this is the computer design model. Uh, a vertex model of a G plus 3 system fully coal form all these members are made out of the rolling mill the channels. Um, now this is the final uh, the rendered model of the house this is the house that we are going to build a G plus uh, 3 system right. Now this is how the residential the G plus 3 was built uh, in Parsada and Raigat in the state of Chhattisgarh. Now, this is how this is uh, the stage in which it is being constructed you can see here the, the, uh, the stages of construction you have G 1 2 third floor is being constructed the total time, time taken for the G plus 3 was less than a month because all these um, the skeletal members are manufactured these are called cassettes you can see the side wall the, the panel units these are called wall cassettes and what is put on the top is called the roof cassettes. So the wall cassettes and the roof cancers are transported and you can see here the flooring is by CP boards. In fact in this project what we did was uh, a 20 um, mm at the bottom and 18 mm at the top 
and in between we had um, a steel uh, roof, uh, the roof cassette and on top of it would put normal ordinary um, tiles that what we see in our buildings. Now this is the finished work you can see here this is the work that is completed uh, and this is just going to be complete you can see here the vertical staircase is of I mean uh, a hot roll steel. So you can see the hybrid structure all these ones which are galvanized coal form steel G plus 3 and this is a hot roll steel uh, staircase. Now this is almost completely over you can see all the, uh, the, the side walls are by CP boards like cement particle board uh, which have uh, I mean painted to look like uh, I mean same color even the floor also it was not a, a concrete deck floor as I explained earlier the floor is um, a 20 mm uh, at uh, a top and then a 18 mm at the top a sandwich with a roof cassette. So we, we, we tested it and we found it is quite adequate you can see here another construction is going to start side by side. And this is how the construction sequence happening um, in um, this right. So you can see here we are going to extend uh, one floor, we are going to extend one floor what it is again on the circumferential wall this panel the, the wall cassette is fixed and uh, so you can see you will support these are all temporary props till the, uh, the top construction. You can see here all the walls are ready in about a day or two then we put the roof cassettes and since the connections are very simple. You can see here the connection between the B, um, the we call as the track with the bottom track to the vertical column we put a small shoe this is called the iron shoe we can just uh, pin this up into it. So this iron shoe will give you the moment rigidity at the joint and how do you fix these tracks onto that straight away drive a pin on the cell this is called uh, I mean self drilling self tapping screws. Uh, so what happened they have a thread and if you just drive it from one side there is no need for any um, uh, uh, nut on the other side. So the connections are quite faster and that is how I said this is uh, really when I experienced this uh, a room wall was construction uh, nearly in about 10 minutes time. Uh, so quickly we are, there is a easily because the amount of dead uh, the weight on this uh, system is going to be very less uh, probably in future. Uh, lots of spaces can be acquired not necessarily we should have the space any existing building if you can take a light load about say 2 kilopascal load can be there and uh, easily these coal form steel systems can be uh, appended. Uh, this is a connection I said so finally I would like to summarize uh, my lecture uh, although this is a, a dream uh, what I tried uh, to give an idea was what is the future of our skyline is going to be in terms of steel construction. Now the future uh, era also it is going to be a, a era of time compression because every project is set against a particular time for which people have to complete and within the time the business grows. So in the time of time compression the time is a, a, a big investment with along with money. So in such a scenario I find the steel construction using hot rolled which I told earlier and steel concrete composites which always gets you the best of steel and the best of concrete and uh, the coal form steel structures appears to be very promising. Of course this is not uh, my dream but it is happening in India only thing we are in a starting phase when more uh, students start um, you know learning this and more institutions start doing research and you will find uh, the steel construction in India is to grow uh, in a big way. Thank you.